You burnt a hole in his shorts because you was on the phone selling garden furniture? Yeah, right. <laughs> Does he tell stories like that at home? <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, no harm done, I suppose. I see she doesn't go out without her dinner, Auntie. So you don't have to worry about her, nor do her mum and dad. I'll always see she eats properly. The thing is, Auntie Franny, you did say I should look for somewhere else to live. You don't think I'd have thrown you out without warning? Oh, she knows you wouldn't do that, but... The poor little thing's been that worried. You see, she doesn't want to go home to her mum and dad and, well, you'll be selling the house once the builders are finished. I don't think so. I have no reason to now. There you are. I told you there was no need to panic. Oh, I think Auntie's a bit tired and I'd better get on. Bye, Mrs Pye. They've said they'll cool down. Oh, please. It's reception again. Any news for Mrs. Meadows? Uh huh. Okay, I'll tell her. Everything went fine. You'll be able to see him in a while. Could you tell me where Mrs. Meadows is sitting, please? Yes, it's the lady there. <laughs> 